Maybe someday robots will be so very human-like that whether you are a robot or a human will not matter so much. Humanoid robots are increasingly penetrating our daily lives. They are used in different domains such as healthcare, culture, industry, business, and education. However, introducing this technology for use in conventional environments is not insignificant. For social robots to be accepted by the user, a positive user experience is crucial and should be considered a crucial part of the robot's development process. It may lead to excessive use of social robots and strengthen their diffusion in society. Robots of different sizes, shapes, and capabilities are out of the world. From small miniature robots to robots that look like people have been introduced to this world. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Artificial Science. Who doesn't love Japan and their craziness when it comes to artificial intelligence on robotics? They lift AI science to a whole new level. Before that, make sure to press the bell icon or subscribe icon for more updates. Japan is flourishing with all the successes in robotics with multifunctional as properly as humanoid robots. The Japanese home market has already started the usage of these advanced and most incredible robots throughout all industries to enhance productivity and decorate consumer engagement. Robotics in Japan has officially left the world in awe. In the world, about half of the robots are made in Japan. For example, the world market for industrial robots in 2011 was once $8.497 billion of which Japanese businesses accounted for 50.2%. On the other hand, the international market in extensive experience such as digital packaging robots was about $13.368 billion, of which Japanese firms accounted for 57.3, making it the biggest robot market in the world, ranking second not solely in the manufacturing, but the introduction of robots. Additionally, the demand for robots is genuinely significant in Japan. As of 2015, Japan is the second biggest market for the income of robots in the world. Japan employs over a quarter of a million industrial robotic workers in the subsequent 15 years. Japan estimates that the range will leap to over 1 million and they anticipate the income for robotics to be close to 70 billion by 2025. At $10,000 a piece. However, with the recent developments of artificial intelligence, robotics experts in Japan have taken their success in humanoid robots to a whole different level. Recently, Japan has announced brand new, really functioning female robots. These female robots are not ordinary robots. They are bio-robots. These robots are capable of mimicking a real human almost exactly the way they move, talk, and express themselves. It's really hard to differentiate them from a real Japanese woman. Maybe it's their eyes where the blink isn't that natural, but apart from that, this robot just looks extremely real. What do you do for a living? Take a look at Erica, a female android with human-like speech and interaction, which is one of Ishiguro's most lifelike creations. I guess the closest thing I have to a hobby is sitting here and ruminating on the meaning of my existence. Erica has glittering eyes, wet lips and artificial skin, was developed in collaboration with ATR and Kyoto University and supported by Japan's science and technology agency, Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Erika is the most intelligent and beautiful android in the world. The principle of beauty is captured in the average face. They used images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on, which means she should appeal to everyone. It's unnerving to meet Erika in person. Her ability to portray a wide range of using dozens of pneumatic actuators installed beneath her silicone skin left this human speechless when Ishiguro asked her to engage in a Japanese conversation with Erika. Right now, it's only possible to talk about particular topics, but experts predict that free-flowing conversations with her could be on their way in the near future. Meet Pepper. Hello, everyone. It's the world's first social humanoid robot that has the potential to recognize basic human emotions and faces. It was utilized for human interaction and can meet and get to know people through various conversations. Hello, oh, welcome to the clothing company. You can show me articles, and I will explain which styling details will have a visual effect on your appearance. Pepper, I have my user ID here. Alice, welcome back. We have some great new clothing for you and its top screen around the globe. Over 2,500 companies have adopted Pepper as an assistant for different tasks like guiding the visitors and welcoming them in a very innovative way. Pepper has more than 15 degrees of freedom. 
and is capable of speech recognition in more than 10 different languages. It stands 120 centimeters tall with a touchscreen on its chest, displaying content to highlight messages and support speech. His curvy design makes him cute and ensures danger-free use. Pepper was manufactured by SoftBank Robotics and was introduced at a conference on June 5, 2014. Currently, he's employed at medical facilities and banks in Japan and as a receptionist at several UK offices. Pepper was also reported to have been used in several homes in Japan, being available as a research and educational robot. Hello, I'm Pepper, a social robot from the University of the West of England. My researchers are sending me to the Mendip School to live there with the children for three weeks. Exciting! Pepper teaches programming at several schools and colleges. Pepper is not a functional report for domestic use. Pepper has two HD cameras, a 3D depth sensor, and four microphones in his head. He weighs 28 kilograms and runs on lithium-ion batteries. His creator hopes that new uses and content will be created for Pepper from his independent developers in the future. Goodbye. See you soon and thank you. Another one of Japan's most successful and most advanced humanoid robots is the Asimo. Hello, I'm Asimo. This video will discover what makes Asimo the most superior female humanoid robot to date and the world-leading female humanoid robot. Asimo is a female humanoid robot designed and developed in Japan in 2015. Introduced in 2000, Asimo was intended to be a multifunctional cell assistant with aspirations of supporting those lacking full mobility. Asimo is often used in demonstrations worldwide to motivate them to learn about science and mathematics at 130 centimeters tall and 48 kilograms. Japanese engineers have been growing the Asimo robot for more than 20 years. Japan developed Asimo, which stands for an advanced step in innovative mobility and is the most superior female humanoid robot globally. According to the Asimo website, Asimo is the first female humanoid robot in the world that can stroll independently and climb stairs. That's one nil to the Autobots. But is Asimo Meet Nadine. Hello, nice to see you. Modeled on Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, Nadine isn't merely a mechanical machine. She's a socially intelligent robot capable of greeting you, enjoying a conversation, and remembering it going forward. So she'll be able to pick up your discussion where you left off. She can answer questions in several languages and simulate a certain amount of emotion. Even more impressive, Nadine interacts with more than 100,000 visitors at the Art Science Museum in Singapore. Ask her any questions you typically ask a customer service agent and she'll handle it, regardless of whether you're speaking English, German, Hindi, or Japanese. The secret to Nadine's success is her programmed personality. It's odd to talk of a robot with a personality. After all, isn't it all gears and circuitry? Yet Nadine's demeanor changes based on the conversation and utilizing 27 degrees of freedom in facial and upper body movements. With such social flexibility, Nadine is paving the way for social robots to assist in helping people with special needs navigate the world. We rarely consider robots as anything more than cold and calculating, Perhaps it's time we did. Now this request for nailing the art of creating more and more humanoid robots or female robots doesn't end here. The same Japanese roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University has designed some of the world's most advanced androids, especially in the recent female version of his creation, Repli R1. She was inspired by his five-year-old daughter. Take a look at her uncanny realistic look and movements, which you could easily mistake her for a real human kid. And being an adorable girl, she'd earn more fame than if this were a boy. Another of Ishiguro's creations include the Repli Q1 Expo, modeled after Ayako Fuji, a female news announcer at NHK, Japan's national public broadcasting organization. The developers in Japan are focusing on ultra-high realistic facial developments. They are working on the very minute details, including smiles, the slight frowns and glances to the left. Humans might have an innate fear of bodies moving like them. In the case of humans, it is naturally present in them. Still, you should wonder if technology could become so developed that robots could even include those movements inside themselves. All of that would be extremely shocking. Any country that could make all this come to reality is Japan. The robot revolution is active throughout the world. The major companies in the U.S. are focusing on replacing menial laborers with robots in the upcoming year. Japan's female robots are gaining popularity all across the globe. 
Many companies from different countries are looking for the same, but Japan strives to be at its peak for cutting-edge robot companies. Saying that, we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts on this robot? What do you think about the evolving relationships between humans and robots? Do let us know that in the comments section down below. For more exciting and interesting topics like this, like and share our videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more videos.